Kenya risks being sanctioned by the World Anti-Doping Agency for non-compliance following budget cuts by the national government this financial year. According to ADAC, the Treasury budget cuts from $288 million in the 2023-2024 financial year to $20 million in the 2024-2025 financial year have grounded the agency's ability to carry out tests as per the requirements of the Athletics Integrity Unit. ADAC, through its outgoing board chairman, Ambassador Daniel McDuallo, is appealing to the government to move with speed and reinstate its budget to restore parity unless the country is listed as non-compliant, which will lead to the country's athletes being barred from international events. I believe that ADAC is well positioned to continue the fight against doping. Uh, the battle is far from over, but I'm confident that with the structures that have been put in place, the ongoing commitment from stakeholders and the continuous improvement of our anti-doping strategies, Kenya will remain a beacon of clean sport. According to ADAC CEO Sarah Shibutse, unless the issue is addressed urgently, Kenya risks being striped off the hosting rights for both the 2025 Chan and the 2027 AFCON finals. The agency, however, is still engaging the government to have the National Treasury reinstate their budget to 288 million Kenyan shillings.